Hi, welcome to Let's Talk Context, American English Idioms, Phrasal Verbs, and Expressions. I'm Ethleen. For today's lesson, we're going to talk about the phrasal verb stick up for. Now, a stick is like a twig from a tree, um, but that's not what this is. When someone says that you stick up for something or someone, it means you defend something. You defend a cause or you defend a person. Now, when you are young, there are bullies. I mean, even when you get older, um, there are still bullies. But if you're in a school setting and you're being teased, you're being made fun of, and someone comes to your defense and they stand up to that bully for you and they say, uh-uh, bully, you can't mess with my friend. Leave my friend alone. That person is sticking up for you. They are defending you. They are standing up for you. These are all ways for us to express the same thing, which is that person is coming beside you, alongside you, and they are saying, you are my friend, and no matter what, I'm not going to let anything bad happen to you. So to stick up for someone is to defend them. Maybe you're dating a guy or a girl, and your friend is just saying all these horrible, nasty things about your partner, your significant other. And what, what they're saying isn't true. They just don't know your significant other the way that you do. And so you tell your friend, listen, I don't appreciate the way that you're talking about him. And you really need to stop it. And you continue to go on and defend your, defend your significant other. What you're doing, you're sticking up for that person. You are saying enough is enough. I'm not going to allow you to continue to berate or badmouth this person that I care about. So you're sticking up for them. Now, when you stick up for something, it's, it's similar in nature. You're, stick, you're standing for a cause. We're going to stick up for people who are voiceless. We're going to stick up for people who come from communities that don't have a lot. And we are going to stand for that cause. We're going to stand for homelessness, ending homelessness. We're going to stand for ending poverty. We're going to stand for ending child abuse and human trafficking. We're going to stick up for those causes and not allow them to continue to plague our communities. Now, if you were paying attention, we stick up for things. I am going to stick up for. I will stick up for. Let us stick up for. Those are some ways, some verbs that you can use, some, some variations of how to use this phrasal verb. Well, thank you so much for watching. To learn more American English idioms, phrasal verbs, and expressions, hit the subscribe button below. And if there are any that you would like to learn, write them in the comments below. Bye!